Good morning, everybody. So I said I was going to do a follow-up, and you can see that the pool is way sparklier than it was. It's because we killed all those active um, algae uh, that was in it. We killed those. And what I wanted to kind of show you guys is I have, there are very various um, kinds of test strips for pools, hot tubs. Um, there's all different kinds. So this one here is actually kind of um, for the hot tub, but you can use it for your pool too. So the top one is free chlorine, and then we have alkalinity, and then we have pH, okay? And then this one has the top section is pH, and then we have total alkalinity, and then we have calcium. Now, but the thing is, is that this strip has four things on it, right? It has four things. Even though there's um, only three um, categories, basically. So what the two middle ones are, the two middle are the alkalinity and um, the pH. They are um, kind of together on this strip, which a lot of people wouldn't know know that if you're not familiar with um, the test strips. So the top one is your, uh, what I say, pH, and then the second, let me hold it this way, the second and third one is the alkalinity. So there's acidic and alkalinity, and then the bottom one is your um, calcium, or hardness of your water, basically. Okay, so we're going to do some follow-up um, test strips today, and see what's, go on boy. <laughs> Sorry guys, the boy's being nosy. See what's going on. So you can see on this test strip, and I'm gonna lay this down. So we still, our pH is still low, but our um, alkalinity is um, getting pretty good. And then our calcium is still, um, is still right on. So once we raise the pH, the alkalinity and that, it all ties in together. Um, the calcium or hardness of your water is um, basically the base. And that usually for us doesn't usually uh, change very much. So um, we still need to bring the pH um, up a little bit, okay? So that's what that one shows. And what's so nice about um, test strips is um, there are different there are different ones out there. See, this one only is a three-er. And let me turn this to the side. So this one is your free chlorine, your alkalinity, and your pH. And it's kind of a good idea to have um, three different, two or three different kinds of um, tests because one can always give a false positive and you just never know. So this one here, and this one is probably more accurate than the other ones. So you can see that our free chlorine um, was all washed out because of um, all the rainwater. So this one is a true test because we need more um, chlorine in our pool and our, our alkalinity is um, still too low. And that is probably, see, it, it what's so strange is that it all ties in together, guys. So once you raise the pH, the alkalinity, and your chlorine um, will settle down and will all level off. So the first thing that I want to start with is my chlorine because that's on, um, that is basically the base of your, your, um, your pool. So once you raise the chlorine level, your alkalinity and your pH levels will also rise and they will uh, become basically middle of the road. So I'm going to add some more chlorine guys and we're going to um, do another test strip tomorrow. So yeah, this is good. This is good information guys. There's a couple different tests out there. This one is um, the frog ease that I got from the pool place. And then this is one that we got at um, at Walmart, I believe. And this is the Insta Test 3. It's 3 plus, so yeah. But there's some information for you guys. Um, I hope this helps on understanding um, what the test strips are, what they mean, and how they all tie in together. Uh, so 
chlorine is your base that you really want to work on first. Um, you don't really want to mess with pH until you have your chlorine levels uh, where they need to be. Otherwise, you could really, um, if you increase the pH, your pool could start browning. And you don't want your water to brown. So, um, we'll do this slowly and I'll take you guys along for the ride. So, uh, stay tuned guys. But the water is really sparkly today. You can see all the algae is gone. It just looks really inviting and beautiful. So, I'm going to take a little dip guys. So, enjoy. Thanks for watching guys.